Hey everyone, Steve here once again to give a video on the recent upgrades I made to my Hackintosh. The two items I chose to update are a solid state drive and a graphics card. These two upgrades come at a time where I intend to use this as my primary machine instead of my old system access YX machine from three years ago. The SSD I chose was a SanDisk 204GB SSD Plus, replacing my current 120GB drive. Nothing noteworthy within the box, just a drive and some literature. The graphics card I chose was the EVGA GeForce GTX 960 Superclock Mini from Amazon for $200. Quickly going through the box, besides the graphics card, it came with a driver software for Windows, instructional literature, a DVI to VGA adapter, and PCIe connector to dual 4-pin power connector, and some stickers, a badge for the outside of my case, and promotional poster. The card itself isn't anything special, but better than most. The card has a 2GB memory unit with 128G DDR5 bitrate. The max amount of monitors that are supported are 4, but the max resolution of 4096 by 2160 which is 4K, but I don't intend to utilize that. For video out ports, there are 2 DVI, standard display port, and 1 HDMI port. With this graphics card, I no longer have to use the integrated Intel HD Graphics 4600 on my i3 processor. Speaking of the processor due to budgeting, I couldn't pick up a better processor for this machine, but don't worry because I will be getting one eventually and make a video on it. Fingers crossed for the fall. Anyway, back to the build, let's start installing this stuff. I chose to install the SSD first, but before doing so, I made a backup image of my system with a free software called SuperDuper. I then used the same software to make a duplicate image of my original drive onto my new SSD. The process took around 20 minutes, but after that the transfer was complete and I was ready to place the new SSD inside the PC. Nothing much to elaborate on. I opened up my case after unplugging the power, took off the power and SATA from my original SSD, placed a new drive on a caddy, and connected the SATA and power to it. To test that the drive works, I booted the PC up. Even though the new drive is a copy of my original, it didn't have Chimera on it, so I had to boot off a UMB's drive and then select my new drive. After seeing the Apple logo and login screen, I know it was successful. All I need to do is run MultiBeast and install Chimera, and the SSD upgrade would be complete. For installing the graphics card, I first had to install the web drivers from NVIDIA's website. This part, I'll admit, was a little frustrating because there are a couple caveats. One of them was that the system must be a Mac Pro from 2008 to 2010. The other requirement was having the right driver for the right version of OSX Yosemite. So, before running the driver, I had to run MultiBeast and change the system definitions from a Mac Mini to a Mac Pro version 3.1 and reboot afterwards. From there, I could run the setup process for the web driver. After restarting the software setup, I went to the System Preferences, went to the NVIDIA Driver Manager icon, and switched the graphics drivers from OSX default to NVIDIA Web Driver. The system has to restart, which I did, but I shut it down afterwards because I needed to place the card in the system. Getting to actually placing in the card, I removed the blank pieces of metal from my case, but I had to add an extra PCIe power connector to my power supply because this card is going to need a little bit more power than the standard amount that's given through the PCI slot. After feeding that through, I could then place the car into the lone PCI slot on my motherboard. It just clicks in and connect the new power cable. After doing some cable management and putting the case back together, I reconnected the power and booted back up the system. There's still a weird start visual bug, but I got used to it and it doesn't impact the PC's performance. With this card, I can still do my typical tasks with the PC, but with the bonus of having the ability to use multiple monitors, which I couldn't do before because of the issues with onboard HDMI ports. For anyone that's into benchmarking, I did a write and read test on my new SSD with a free Mac App Store app called Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. I don't have my other SSD to compare it to, but for the basic tasks I do, the speeds are alright to me. I also ran a Cinebench test on my card and got an OpenGL score of 50.28 FPS with capturing software on and 67.53 FPS with capturing software off. Compared to the results I ran last year, the 960 is definitely a lot better than the integrated graphics. 
In terms of issues during my time using this graphics card, only two arose for me. For one of them, basically I tried using the included VGA adapter in the box with a spare VGA cord I had, but I found that the picture would not display unless the video cable was an actual DVI or HDMI cable. At least according to the Toy Mac XA6 website, this is a common issue with builds, and it's no big deal for me, but I thought I would at least bring that up. The other issue I have, and technically still deal with, is the HDMI audio. At least at the time of this video, I cannot get audio out through the HDMI port, only through audio ports. If I happen to find a patch or hex to fix this, I'll place the link somewhere in the description. Overall, I'm happy with the new solid state drive and graphics card. They prove to be worth the money and perform excellent. I'll provide links in the description for hardware and drivers in case anyone that's viewing wants to attempt a card installation themselves. For a future video, I plan on showing what Windows 10 looks like and runs on my current hardware, so stay tuned for that. So, that'll do it for me. This is Steve signing off, and thanks for watching.